Hi, you come to me with a very bare face today because today's tutorial is your complete five minute makeup look. It's everything you need to take you from sitting on the sofa to deciding to go out on a night out with friends and out the door and from bare face to spritz of fragrance it's five minutes. The best thing to do is to start with a little bit of primer. I know when these first came out they, sent, they tended to be a bit sort of blocky and thick and um, they seemed like a step in your makeup routine that was a step too far but the latest ones are super super light, they're really good, they've got great textures and they really will minimise the need for you to wear any foundation at all so you can just put a tiny bit on um, and you'll be done faster. So the one I like at the moment is Philosophy, it's called The Present. It's basically like a skincare and primer in one and it's what I'm wearing at the moment just on the centre part of my face just to take down any shine and minimise pores. Next step would be your base and the easiest thing to pat on even if you don't have a mirror, which luckily I have, um, is a tinted moisturiser or one of the latest foundations which have formulas that are super sheer. My favourite one at the moment is this one by Estee Lauder. It's called Invisible because it is. It's almost like water. You can feel the texture melts into nothing it's almost like nothing's there, and yet you get great coverage. So I'm going to start with that. You apply a tiny bit to the back of your hand, warm it up in your fingertips, and literally spread it on like you would with a face cream. And the warmth of your hand, and work it in like this, means that it blends into your skin like a face cream. There won't be any telltale marks, any tide marks. If you've got a tide mark, it means you've got the shade wrong. It doesn't mean the texture of the foundation is wrong. It means you've got something that's too light or too dark for your skin color. So go back and, and try another color. Um, another secret that the makeup artist who I love called Kay Montano taught me is that to cut time down, don't apply foundation all over your face in a flat pancake. You'll end up taking away the contours of your natural skin. Only apply foundation where you need it, as if it was a concealer. And then if you need extra coverage, go back and put concealer on top. It's the best thing she ever taught me and it's a really brilliant time-saving tip. So I've just put foundation where I get shiny because my skin's all right. And then I'll go back and put concealer over a couple of broken capillaries that I've got. Um, the best concealers around have a really nice smooth texture but enough sticking power to stay on top of where you need them. You can apply them with a fingertip or a really small brush. So you just get your concealer, load up your brush again and dot it onto any broken capillaries or little bits of redness that you've got. And then go in with your fingertip which will add warmth and oil and tap and, and basically take the product away from what you've put it on until it's blended perfectly. It works every time. So once that's on and your base is done, you can then apply your colour and definition. And the key time-saving tip I've got is to choose one feature and play it up. So if you prefer your eyes, line them, put some mascara on and you're ready to go. If you prefer your lips, put a bright lipstick on and you're ready to go. Don't try and do both, you'll waste time and you'll end up looking really overdone. Um, so I'm going to put add a bit of colour to my cheek and then I'll do an eye. Um, and the best time saving tip I've got is use a multiple product like this which is Bobbi Brown. It's called a Pot Rouge and it's a really soft lovely rosy colour and it's just the colour that my skin goes when it's flushed. So pat it onto the fattest part of your cheek, the apple, with your ring finger and blend it up and outwards just to give a healthy glow. And if you can't find your apples, because like me, you've got a rounder face, smile and it's the fattest part of your cheek that you want to do just underneath your iris. So, once your cheek's done and they're even, hopefully, you can do your eyes or your lips. So at this point, if I was going to do a brighter lip, I would just put a bit of balm on, rub it in with my finger and then apply the lipstick that I love. But actually, I prefer doing it my eyes on a night out. I think it lasts longer than a lipstick and it means that people actually look at me when I talk to them, which is nice. So um, what I tend to do is use a, a cat's eye liner, um, a, a liquid one in a pen. They're the fastest thing you can use. They're super easy. This one is by Soap and Glory, which means it's super affordable. But other really good ones are from Chantecaille. There's a great Yves Saint Laurent one. Armani make one. Basically, everyone does one now. And you go in and you take the 
the angle of your lower eyelid. Draw in your line where you want it to, just on the end. I mean, obviously that's very quick for me and it just might take a bit of practice, but for me that's the fastest way to define my eyes. There we go. So the next bit is I'm going to cheat my way to a kind of bolder eye and I'm going to put a bit of coal in the waterline of my lower lid. Um, you can get, the best thing about a coal is it's really soft, it's smudgeable and it looks even better as the night goes on and it starts to kind of melt into your skin. Um, there's a really good one by Lauder which is a nice fat chubby pencil. Well I'm actually going to use this one called Mallorca by Becker which doesn't have um, a sharpenable pencil, it's just an automatic liner. And I'm going to look down so that the bottom of my um, eyelid comes away a little bit so that I can get my pencil right into the corner of my eye. Like that. The next thing to do is curl your eyelashes, which takes a second and it might seem like a hassle, but I promise you it will make what, however little mascara you put on much more effective um, and at the moment I love this Lancome one called Hypnose and again you have to pull a funny face here look down and your, low, and your upper eyelid comes away from the top of your eye so actually you're not there's no touching you won't even if you have the longest eyelashes in the world you won't end up accidentally flicking the top of your eyelid with your mascara wand get your mascara wand shove it right into the roots of your eye and wiggle it back and forth as you pull it through your lashes the fastest way to de deposit a bit of product. You won't even need one of those vibrating mascara wands. Your hand does it all for you. A funny face, but it's worth it for no accidents. And the fewer accidents you have, even though it doesn't matter, it means you can get out the door faster. To do your lower lashes, take your mascara wand, clean the tip with the base, and use it vertically to touch just your lower lashes up and deposit just a tiny amount of mascara on them neatly and it means you won't get any clumps. The last thing you need to do is I'll go back, get my pot rouge cream which means that it matches my cheeks. Put a bit of natural colour on lips, I'm good to go. I hope that's helpful.